The Web Files. 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 Hey everyone, I'm Demi Moore. Nah, you guys know who I am. I'm Kristen Burt. Welcome to the third episode of the Web Files Buzz. Today we're on a hot set on a beautiful day at the Viceroy Hotel in Santa Monica, checking out Jaleel White's new web series, Fake It Till You Make It. Let's check out all the action. Exactly. All right, Todd Pellegrino, welcome to the Web Files. Thank you for having me. All right, we're on a hot set today yes. for Fake It Till You Make It. Tell us a little bit about the web series. There's a web series we are doing uh, with Julia White, mm -hmm. and it is about four in, I guess, L.A. speak friends who are yep. essentially f trying to fake it until they make it. They are out there basically hustling. They're yeah. friends until they don't need to be friends anymore because they've been found better friends. Now, how did you come aboard the series? Because you're not new to web series at all? No, I do a web series for ESPN mm -hmm. called Main Street. Hi, I'm Kenny Main. Emmy and nominated, by the way, right? Uh, yes, 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 yes. Very good. Uh, which is great. We didn't win. Um, which, it's great to be nominated. No, it's great to win. I came to this because Jaleel and I had a mutual friend and he had said, um, you know who, uh, uh, who's doing that right, like doing web series right, the guys that are doing Main Street. So he um, got Julio in touch with me and he wrote these episodes and he was uh, gracious enough to, to ask me to be involved to you know not just direct but also try to you know punch up some of these scripts. We're doing eight episodes. Um, they're all self-contained. Another thing that I feel very strongly about just because of the way people consume this stuff is yep. that you need to be able to jump in at any time and know what's going on. If you watch it sequentially, will it be a funny, funnier for people? Yes. Of course, um, it'll make more sense. Maybe. Yeah, <laughs> but you should be able to, if, if we've done our jobs right, you should be able to just you know, click on an episode, watch it, and hopefully get a few laughs. I loved these scripts when we got them, but I've been really, really, really happy that it's been funnier to shoot than it's been to read. It's been a lot funnier than uh, than even I could have I could have hoped for. So well, good luck with the series. We're Thank really looking so forward to it, Thank and uh, it's fun watching the set too. Yes. All right, hey Jaleel, thanks for uh, joining us here on the Web Files. Tell us about your show. It's basically um, the effed up side of Entourage. <laughs> it's uh, <laughs> it's, uh, it's just really what what really goes on in LA. You know where people's business cards don't match their hustle, and you know people only know you for as long as they need you. And, I play a character named Reggie Culkin, who's a former child child star. I, start, I have to ask, yeah. is it based off of Macaulay Culkin, the little Culkin? Absolutely not. This is my own name. Of who, course. Who, who, who is that? Who are you talking about? I don't know. Oh, okay, yeah, no, no, I'm Reggie Culkin. <laughs> I, I, I don't know no Macaulay. I'm, I'm Reggie. Now I'm a multi-hyphenate. I'm a you know, celebrity everything. I'm a celebrity mobile notary. I'm a celebrity nice. trainer to other, uh, to other celebrities. This is me, Reggie Culkin. It's my business card, you know, if you're trying to get in shape and you're famous. 555-6370. Five, 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 That's it, give me a buzz, you know, we'll work you out. How much is this based off of, you know, your work uh, on Family Matters and growing up in the business? Um, you know, it's just, it was really more of a, a, a comedic indictment of, of just where business and life is going in a big city sure. anyway. So it's, 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 I actually like to think the show is a lot bigger than Hollywood because really that's what it is. These people that have come out here to be actors, directors, and stars, and they just end up doing every shady thing that's not acting, directing, right, and, right. Uh, and producing. How has the reaction been? To, you know, because you're you're no name and you're going into web series. Have yeah. people reacted favorably? 100%. Have you gotten questions? Oh yeah, hundred percent. You know, the reaction online has just been overwhelming. The comments boards, um, the, the, the Twitter situation. You know, uh, I'm at Jaleel underscore White. The followers have just said unbelievable things Great. to me. And, and so encouraging and and the way I look at it is they're kind of like pilots you know slash mix mixtapes mm -hmm. where people can give you direct feedback you know I don't have to do a, a an anonymous pilot in, in April and just let it die on you know an executive's desk I can put it out there for people to enjoy and check if out. they want to see more of it they'll they'll you know write on the comments for us if they want to see more of it if they think something's whack, hey, say it's whack too. It's that's okay. You know, that's, that's your American <laughs> like, right yeah. to say this is whack. <laughs> now you're not new to web series. You did wrote no. to the altar yeah. last year. I popped the question to Rochelle because I was ready. We are getting married. What do I do? We'll put a donation slip in with the invitations? No. Yes. No. no. When I did wrote to the altar, that was just like a light went on in my head mm -hmm. where I was like, this is the future. This is this is happening right now. 
get on board, the train is taking off from the station. I just wanted to be inspired more sure. by, by with my writing. I wanted I wanted the actors to make the alterations and not not the executives. So that's really what we've done with Fake It Till You Make It. It's the sophomore effort, you know, moving a step beyond Road to the Altar. Better production value, better direction, sharper writing. I'm so happy because the biggest compliment I've received so far is every single actor has just come up to me just like, I love my role. Oh. I mean, we got Wayne, it's a big deal, you know? I'll tell you one thing, he's gonna be funny, Wayne Brady. All right. Um, I was, I'm, I'm so honored and thrilled that Wayne gave us the cameo. Uh, we built an entire webisode around him, and uh, I think it's gonna be a classic webisode that a lot of people are gonna forward to each other. At the end of the day, what, what we wanna do with Fake It is we wanna tell really good stories mm -hmm. in, a, in a short time span. Jaleel, thanks for joining us here on The Web Files. I appreciate it. <laughs> From a hot set to hot music, what's it like to compose music for a web series? All right, Rob, Gofi, thank you for joining us here. What I call the Demi Moore Web Files. You like yes. it? Yes. All right. It's always interesting on what going, goes on behind the camera of, for web series, and you've been composing music. Right. So how is that different than composing for film or TV? I look at them like independent television because they're they're very short television episodes. And the, the difference, the main difference, is that you don't have a whole lot of time to develop any themes for music. Right. You get like five seconds here or 15 seconds there. So everything has to be really concise. It's almost like doing a commercial. You have to find something memorable that will stick in people's heads, like the guild. Um, opening credits, which is very short, but you know what you're watching right away when you hear it. It's really hard, actually, to narrow it down because as a musician, you rather overwrite mm -hmm. than underwrite, and so trying to find a hook quickly can be difficult. And you're becoming pretty prolific in the web series world. I've worked on Fall in the Series, mm -hmm. Run to the Shadows, My Bitchy Witchy Paris mm -hmm. Vacation. How did you sort of meet um, people within the web series world? Twitter. I, you know what, every web series I've ever gotten, and I've been doing film scoring for about five years, and mm -hmm. every web series has been through Twitter. Is that where this book comes from? That's Hold where it up. this book comes from. Yes, <laughs> in the belly of the fail whale. Talk a little bit about that. The book is about my experience the first year I was on Twitter, my marketing style, um, and how I've gotten more business from Twitter as a composer than any other social media site. Where can everyone find your book? The book's available at my website, and it's also available on Amazon and soon through Barnes & Noble. Well, thank you for joining us here well, on the website. Thanks for having me. Appreciate it. And your book, wait. For all the latest buzz, friend us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter.